what is going on hope you're having a great day in today's video we're going to be going over how to create this triple split screen effect i've seen a lot of people use split screen effects throughout music videos nowadays so i want to show you guys how to create this version of that effect here in after effects i already have all of my layers ready i have five clips in total two of the original clips and then the three clips that we're going to be using in order to create this triple split screen effect first thing we're going to do is bring the second clip back just bring it back 10 frames because we're going to need both the first clip as well as the second clip to overlap in order to create this effect the next thing we're going to do is grab these three clips and just bring it eight frames back from the start of the second clip so that's why it's important to overlap these two layers so that once we actually create the effect we don't have a transparent background and now what we're going to do is actually mask out our layers once you select your three clips we're going to mask out each layer turn on the proportional grid just to make it easier for you to mask out for this first clip i'm going to mask out the top part of this layer because we're masking out three layers, it's important to mask out an even amount of space so that we can fit all three of the layers onto this composition. I'm going to mask out this top part of the first layer. I'm also going to change the name to top so that I know that that's the top layer. Just do the same thing for all three of your layers. In this case, I like this part of the layer, so I'm going to mask that part out. Rename that to mid because that's going to be right in the middle. Okay, so once you mask out all your layers, you wanna then make sure to move the position of each of them so that it fully fits the composition. For the one in the middle, I wanna make sure that it fills up the two rows of the proportional grid. And then for the bottom one, just make sure to move that to the bottom. And now, as you guys can see, we have all three of the split screen layers playing. The next thing we're going to do is offset all three of these layers because I want them to all appear at separate times. So what I'm going to do is just go to the top layer and then go forward two frames. Just drag this forward two frames frames go forward another two frames and then drag the bottom layer forward so now we have all three of these layers going to be appearing at different times and i'm also going to add a few effects to all three of these layers the first effect we're going to add is a tint for the color you can change it to whatever you want in my case i'm going to change it to a bright green and then for the second layer, I'll turn the bottom layer off for now. For the middle layer, I'm also going to add a tint to that. And for this one, I'm going to change the color to a bright red. For the bottom one, I'm going to change the color of this one to a bright yellow. And instead of just having all three of these layers cut onto the scene, I'm going to have it animate where it slides from right to left. So we're going to add a motion tile. Keyframe the tile center in a way so that it slides from right to left. Click that layer, click U to reveal the keyframes. Go forward four frames and keyframe the tile center back to its original position. Turn on the motion blur for all three of these layers. And I'm going to easy ease both of these keyframes. Make sure to copy and paste these keyframes onto the other layers as well. After copy and pasting the keyframes onto these two layers, now when I play this, as you guys can see, all three of these layers, they like slide in right when they cut in, and it just makes it look a lot better. The next thing we're going to do is bring out the values a little more for these layers, because in my case, it's kind of hard to see our footage. So I'm going to add a brightness and contrast, and for this top layer, I'll just increase the brightness to 15 also increase the contrast to 15 as well and then do the same thing for the middle as well as the bottom layers and of course this all really just depends on your footage you just want to make sure that you can actually see your layers and by adding that effect it just brings out the values of our footage grab all three of these layers for the split screen effect and we're going to pre-compose them i'll just name that the split screen right when the split screen effect happens we're going to add a flash effect at the start just so that right when this clip goes into the effect we have sort of like a transition so let's create a new adjustment layer make this adjustment layer five frames long and make sure it aligns with the pre-composed layer we're going to add an exposure keyframe the exposure at zero at the start and then go forward five frames and keyframe it to five easy ease both of those keyframes and i'm also going to duplicate this layer and just drag it forward so that we have a flash effect at the end of the split screen effect as well now when i play this as you guys can see 
it animates in with a flash effect and then it animates out with the flash effect. The final thing we're going to do is create another adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer one frame long and just make sure that this adjustment layer aligns with the one from before. And for this one, we're going to add a threshold. For the next effect, we're going to add an invert. For this threshold effect, I'm going to increase the levels just by a little. I'll have it like that. By adding these two effects, it just adds emphasis to our flash effect. So now when I play this, as you guys can see, it's not really noticeable, but it just makes the flash effect look a little better. And if you feel like three different colors isn't the type of look that you're going for, go back into that layer and turn off the tint effect for all three of these layers. And then go back into the composition. If you just want to have one color for all three of these layers, you can add a tritone effect. And I'm going to change the color of the midtones to more of a bright blue. So I have it like that. And if you feel like that looks better with just one color, you can do that as well. Or you can just turn off the tritone effect and then have the original colors of your footage. But that is the final effect. This is how you create a triple split screen effect. And that is all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.